The next trend that we apply to mobile here is called intelligently on. So brands will often come to me and say, you know, Kelly, how can we be always on for consumers? We always want to be on. What we're finding is that there's emerging desire from consumers not to be always on, but rather to be intelligently on. They want technology that responds to their intent and that is smart enough to know, quite frankly, when they don't want to be contacted. You see this with luxury resorts. A couple years ago, luxury res resorts would always advertise, you know, we have Wi-Fi, you can stay completely connected when you come here. And if you've noticed um, in the past year or two, luxury resorts, extremely high end, will now advertise there's no Wi-Fi, you cannot be connected to anybody. So real luxury is starting to become the ability to disconnect. So 46% of the consumers that we surveyed said that they're aware of digital devices and services that actually send filtered messages at different times. So imagine when you're watching a streaming video online, you don't necessarily want some kind of interruptive message at that moment. 54% of us expect brands to know when to speak to us. This is a huge shift. It's almost half of consumers actually think brands should know when they should be spoken to. So this didn't happen when television was kind of at the top of its game when it came to advertising, but when it comes to mobile, it is important to be responsive to consumer intent. 47% of consumers want to spend time away from the internet as well. So what does this mean for brands? Well, there's this idea of intent casting where consumers can kind of give you a signal about what they're doing. Microsoft just announced Cortana last week, which is essentially um, a personal assistant on your mobile phone. And what's interesting about this is that there's a machine learning element that's powered by Bing that begins to get to know you. And it's all permission-based, so you share information that you feel comfortable sharing. But once you start sharing your preferences, um, Cortana will actually begin to anticipate your needs rather than waiting for you to tell it what to do. So that could be as simple as letting you know that there's a lot of traffic on your way to the airport, so you might want to leave 15 minutes earlier. Um, but you can imagine the brand implications here, what could be happening in the future um, if you go to the store and you've run out of milk, when you start thinking about what's happening with the Internet of Things, it's very possible that a tool like Cortana could remind you that you're running out of milk and maybe that's um, a brand-sponsored message. So the last trend I'm going to talk about is called My Analytics. Is anyone wearing a Fitbit? A couple people are. So this is one of those trends that's actually starting to happen um, right now. More and more consumers are interested in the self-quantification, so the idea that um, I want more data about myself, um, my biology, my spending habits, for those of you who use Mint.com. And what's interesting is it's not dissimilar to what we have as marketers in the sense that we're all kind of swimming in data right now, but we don't necessarily have a ton of insight from that data. And consumers are the same way. So 38% of us are interested in continuously analyzing our devices or our data using devices that are implanted in the body. Now this, again, a bit of a provocative quote, and I should admit it skews very young and very male for some reason. We should probably do another study to find out why that is. Um, but more useful, 55% are more likely to buy a product or service that helps them identify how they can make improvements to their lives. So it's one thing to be collecting data about your fitness habits, for example, but brands that are able to use that data in a way to help consumers, to give them real insight, um, we think will have a leg up moving into the future. <laughs>